Hi and welcome to Stamp with Angela. This is Angela Palmer and today I'm going to make a card with you. So I'm going to make a card that uses the Flower and Fields DSP which is one of the free celebration items and I'm going it's one of the cards that I did at my open home event a couple of weeks ago to show the new catalogue and also to show the celebration products. So I know some of you couldn't come um, or you live elsewhere in New Zealand so you can't come to me in Auckland so I'm going to show you how I made it today. So I'm going to turn the camera onto the table and we'll get started. Alright, here we go. So this here is the card that I made. So you'll see this designer series paper here. So until the end of February, this is celebration and this is the paper here that you can earn for free when you spend $110 or more in New Zealand. So I've used quite a few other papers but I've got a couple of them here that you can see and then the other side is like this. Um, the other patterns are this one here and today I'm going to use this one. So um, with this card here I'm using an embossing folder that's a narrow one so I can use my mini embossing machine um, and I've run out of this paper. I chose to put the cherry cobbler around, of it, around it because it's got these cherry cobbler accents in it. This particular design is obviously lots of cherry cobbler. Anyway let's get started. So some of the things we need, I've got a black card base, this colour here is just jade and like I said before the cherry cobbler. So um, with the mini embossing machine which I've got here, it is narrower. Okay so your standard embossing folders can't fit through, however these smaller ones can as you'll see here. So you, this particular one, it's in the annual catalogue and I think it's called Greenery, it comes with two. So I'm going to get my um, Just Jade and put it through. So with that paper what I've done is an A4, if you cut it into seven centimetre strips you'll get three. One, two, three. So that's what this is, seven centimetre. And I will share um, later the actual measurements and things. Okay. With the mini machine it does tell us what we need. So these are just a standard embossing folder. So for um, so that's for thin dies. Um, but for the embossing folder, I'm going to put my card in and this one here says insert embossing folder. So this is for using with the standard embossing folder, so this is the one I need. So it says I need a 1 at the bottom and then the embossing folder and a 3 at the top. So a 1 at the bottom, my embossing folder and a 3 at the top. So that's for what I do for embossing folders and then I wind it through. Now I know you can't tell but it's very cute and it's very light. Okay, so there we go. I've put it in upside down, but that's all right. doesn't matter this time. Okay, so I have my basic black base, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere that first on that side. So you can use seal, you can use um, liquid, uh, multi-purpose glue, whatever you like. So with the seal kind of down and then flick. All right so adhering that like so. So it's got a bit of an edge on it. So the only thing with seal is you can't jiggle it or move it like you can with tape. So I've got to try and get it right first time. There we go, I'm happy with that. So that one goes on first because this one has to go like this. So I'm going to put that onto there first. So I'm flicking it back just to break that release, putting it on there. I've got to line it up nicely. 
there we go and adhere onto here so this card is a way of showing both um, designer series paper and embossing so you can you know use another sweet and another embossing paper with exactly the same uh, card design it's very simple to make and you know use colors that coordinate and things all right so my happy birthday so what I have used for that is the peaceful moments stamp set this one here which is great got lots of different sentiments in it so I've got my happy birthday here and I'm using cherry cobbler whoops because that's my accent color and I just need a strip of whisper white or now basic white okay so I'm gonna stamp it in the middle like so and this folder here it is the everyday label punch I use it a lot so it doesn't matter if it's not quite straight because I can line it up in here no I've just discovered that I've pulled out the wrong punch that is the everyday label punch this is something else which has now retired let me grab the right one I am coming back just trying to find it and of course I can't we may have to go ahead with that one I know where it is it's right here so let's pop that one away that's not the one to use this one here is the everyday label punch we'll try again okay now if you want room for your bow in hindsight I actually think it might be better on the other side so it's not near the busy paper but up to you I'm going to do it in the middle all right so I've put it on with dimensionals and these but what I might do is put it on then work out my placings and things so dimensionals I'm going to use the mini ones just one in each of the four corners and it's half on the designer series paper half on the embossing slightly more to the right as you can see the main reason is because this is a bit blank so that's why I want to sort of cover that so I might actually do it a little bit higher on this one just the way I've put it in the folder so you might be wondering what they are or how I did those so what I've got here is just some plain rhinestones if you've got a blend and a coordinating color then you can color them so do it on here just very carefully so you don't um, damage the tip so I'm going to do those three colors and I didn't bring my take my pick tool here so I'm going to use my scissors but let's just have a play with the ribbon so this is some gingham ribbon which I believe is from the annual catalogue and tie a bow which is always fun when you're being watched uh, it's a bit not quite in the center let's try again there we go and I'll just trim so now I've got a pair of scissors that I'm specifically using just for ribbon um, that way they'll be nice and sharp if you keep alternating between ribbon and paper and things then maybe not so much so I could choose to put on this side and that'll take away from that blankness there so let's try that so you're going to use a glue dot um, so I just put it on straight on like that then I'm not touching it too much let's put it on the side this time okay and now my um, rhinestone so let's put a big one up here one I might do doesn't want to come come on I do prefer my take pick tool but I didn't get it out whoops he's turned over maybe over there and last one maybe I'll just does not want to come come here not cooperating at all okay let's just try another medium size one for the sake of time color it on there because if it goes over the edges then you're not going to get it on your card okay it's not cooperating either there we go and maybe down there I don't know so I want them at different levels maybe I could have put that up a bit but anyway you get the idea so there we are 
To finish it off, because it's dark, I'm going to put a piece inside. Now this card hasn't got much stamping, it's only got the sentiment. So what I'm going to do is get a scrap strip of paper and put that in as well. So let's put that in my card, just as well I'm using that side. It's got a mark from something. Oops, and if it doesn't run, just roll it a little bit to get it going. All right, let's see if we can line this up nicely. And then should be about the same width as my piece of um, DSP. Or you can use glue. That's ah, sticking to me. All right. There we go. So then that coordinates that. I think the paper direction is going slightly different direction but it's the colours that coordinate. So there you go, quick and easy card. So why don't you have a go, maybe use some different colours, different patterns. So embossing folder on one side, put it down first and then and another contrasting colour but frame it with that first and then it covers any joins, your sentiment with a punch or die, add some ribbon and some rhinestone coloured with a blend and then a strip of paper inside. So I hope you found that enjoyable, um, learnt something new. If you make some cards using that technique and stamping up papers on things, then please um, share it. And if you would like this particular paper, remember it's available for celebration until the end of this month, until the 28th of December. Sorry, February. Where did December come from? 28th of February. And if you um, don't already have a demonstrator and you would like to place an order, then please feel free to contact me or order through me. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please write them below. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.